My baby goats are one month and three weeks old. About two weeks ago, I started separating them from their moms at night so that I could get milk in the morning. I would half milk the moms in the morning and leave a little bit more for the babies to eat in the morning and then they'd have milk the rest of the day and into the night. But now I can see the babies are eating food. They're still going for milk for their moms and now we really need to, I really need to wean them fully off of their moms. They're eating grain when I feed them. They're eating their, their sweet feed and I see them grazing. So they're ready to be off of their, their moms. And then I could get the milk both times in the day. And I got to catch this before the moms wean them and they wean themselves and, and the milk production goes down. So this is the process I've been going through for the past few weeks, separating the little baby goats at night. And in the morning I go and I milk the moms. I got to take these little guys out of here, keep them away from their moms for a minute because they're going to try to feed before I milk. I got to do the rest of the morning chores because guineas, chickens and ducks and baby chicks are all begging for food. Opal. Now this goat Opal has been a really great milker. She only had a singleton and it was a surprise birth because I didn't know she was pregnant. I only thought her sister was pregnant. But she gives me the most amount of milk. Surprising because her sister had twins and it is, uh, she gives me a lot less. All right, if you haven't done this before, the first thing you'll note in the morning is that they are very tight in the morning. All right, for this I'd play it by ear, but if I was going to leave enough milk for the babies to, to eat in the morning, uh, which I was doing, but now it's time to wean them, I would, I'm judging this based off of how much, I, I've been milking enough to know when they're getting close to empty or kind of halfway. And when they start to slow down, their bags will start to feel less tight and then they'll start to shrink up. And at that point, I'm gonna probably leave enough for the babies. And right now, since I'm not, I'm gonna keep milking, but I just wanted to show, this is kind of where I'd end up with about this much milk. It's filled up maybe to here. And uh, then I'd leave the rest for her son to finish, but I'm gonna take it all this morning. All right, this is just about half full and she's done. This is just for those who haven't milked before. Let me show you when I know that they're done milking. So a little bit more is coming out, but it's slowly filling up that bag. The teat isn't filling up with milk as quickly and it's not coming out as much. It's going to always try to fill back up because she's always trying to produce more milk. But as I squeeze right now, look at that. Nothing's really coming out. Isla, Isla. Okay. Now, we will see how much Isla, this little white one right here, she's the one who had the twins. We'll see how much she gives us. All right, even though she had twins and she's had to feed two babies, she's still giving me less milk than the one who had uh, a singleton. Her milk is down here. That other one was pretty much dead center. So that's a significant difference between the two. All right, Sky. 
Good girl, Sky. All right, we're gonna finish off with our first milker. She's the last one for this morning, and then uh, well, I'm gonna take this up and filter it out and get it in the fridge. Now, I know this wasn't the most scientific or informative, but this is my first time weaning a little baby goats, and I've done a lot of research to try to figure it out. I didn't find too many other videos online about what to do exactly, but I've done a lot of reading. So, it's a lot of feeling out your goats, seeing if they're eating, the little baby goats eating. Two months is okay. There isn't really an exact timing on when you could start weaning your goats. Typically, it's from 8 to 12 weeks. I've noticed that my goats are eating, they're healthy, they are not just relying on their mom's milk, they're giving them food if I give it to them. So I could start weaning them now. And then hopefully by next week, I can get them fully off of their mother's milk and they're fully grazing. That's where I'm at with them. So stay tuned, because next week I'll give you an update on the next measures of weaning those little baby goats. Let's get you back with your baby. Hey, thanks for watching. Next week I'll give you an update on everything else. And I have a bee playlist if you want to see what we're doing with our bees so that we can eventually get honey and uh, everything else we got on our farm along with what we're doing with our chickens. Thanks for watching, guys.